Hey guys, the folks at Metabo HPT have really been stepping up their game this past year. This time, they've introduced a brand new brushless 18 volt random orbital sander. Now, this sander is now part of their ever expanding multivolt system of 18 and 36 volt tools. My first impression on this sander, uh, just put my hand on it, first impression was really comfortable to grip. It's got a nice over rubber mold and it's good size on top of the sander. I immediately noticed that the switch had a rubber boot on it, uh, indicative of, of good quality, keeping the dust out, and the six setting variable speed dial was recessed, so you don't accidentally change it and move it when you're gripping around on the tool. The other immediate impression uh, was why did Metabo HBT opt to use an archaic dust bag clip design? If you're not sure what I mean, it's the plastic clip that holds the back end of the dust bag together. And it was used 20 years ago on sanders. It was my first Makita sander had it. I hated it then, I hate it now. Um, as far as power and material removal, the Metabo HPT orbital sander has a five inch hook and loop pad, easily changed out with four screws. I will say, um, I only have a couple of hours on this sander so far, maybe four hours. I found the sander was powerful and I was able to quickly remove mill marks easily from uh, face frames, some door frames I glued up. Um, to see how the sander performed, I additionally tested the sander with pencil marks on various wood species like I did um, uh, mahogany oak, poplar, I uh, did some paintwork, something with paint on it, bare wood as well as some metal. Uh, it has six settings rated from no load speeds from 7,000 OPM all the way up to 11,000 OPM with a orbit diameter of, uh, diameter of three millimeters. Now as vibration goes, the sander does seem to have a bit more vibration than the Milwaukee sander I'm used to, um, which is also cordless, but there's no real way to measure that. It just feels like it vibrates a little teeny bit more. Dust collection. Metabo HPT Random Mobile Sander comes with a dust bag with that clip and two vacuum adapters. The dust bag has a really nice O-ring insert that goes into the port of the sander and it secures nice and snug. There is no chance of it falling out. That was a nice detail. The dust port on the sander can handle an inch and three eighths or 35 millimeters dust hose and the adapters allow for an inch and a half or 38 millimeters or an inch and three quarter and four, or 44 millimeter hose, hose connections. Um, as far as room for improvement on the sander, I think the sander is great. It, it really works nice. I like it. Um, I think they missed the mark on the archaic dust bag clip. Uh, experience has shown me that these clips are pain in the ass to slip on. The bag leaks if it's not on securely and the clip easily falls off and gets lost in the truck or somewhere along transport. I suggest that Metabo HBT put a, a YKK zipper on the bag and call it a day. Now, as far as the vacuum adapters go, I'm glad they included them. I really am. I like the options and stuff, but I prefer the cordless tool of 2022 to have an integrated size dust port that can take all those different sizes. It's built in. So who knows, maybe Metabo will throw that on the, uh, the next Gen 2 version. Uh, this sander is gonna sell uh, for $99 bare tool at Acme Power Tools. I'll put a link below. And in my opinion, that's a bargain in anybody's wallet for a cordless sander. If you're already on the platform, it's a no-brainer, even if you're not. Um, my overall impression, I really like the sander. It's powerful. It is really comfortable to use. Uh, it's got really good runtime. Good size battery on it. You're going to sand all day. It only weighs 2.6 pounds bare tool and then whatever battery you clip onto it. Um, I'm just excited that Metabo HPT is really stepping up their game and adding more tools to their brushless lineup and obviously expanding that multivolt system that they're very proud of. The 1836 volt multivolt system. Um, I recommend this tool guys. Very short review. Um, again, not a whole lot of time on the sander right now. I promise I'll do a, a one year look back on it. Um, I'm Rob Robillard. Thanks for coming. Please, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I try to get back to everybody if I can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time. Take care.